Okay, so I'm here at the VMIX booth and today we're gonna to talk about the five new features in VMIX 27. Let's go. Okay, the first and obvious one is that we now have Stream Deck Plus integration. That means that, uh, of course, we have the Stream Deck integration already for a long, long period of time. I don't have to show that. However, we now also are, are able to utilize these rotary knobs and see what happens here. For example, in the master control, I can also just hit this button right here, like here, and then it automatically goes back to 100%. Other things that I can do is that if I um, for example, uh, put this one on a preview. I can uh, go through the, the LUTs here by going sepia, black and white, or invert, and then hit invert like so. Boom. Or I want to have sepia. Boom. So that is also something that you can do with the Stream Deck Plus. Another option is, for example, on this uh, uh, Stream Deck Plus is that you can modify the window by just using the rotary knob, I can crop it like so. I can move it like so. And I can also move it, of course, like so. So you have a lot of functionality at your disposal with the Stream Deck Plus. Second option is that we now have the possibility not to have only two, but four outputs at our disposal. So not only those two that we already had in the previous versions, but also these two right here, which you can also use to navigate the output of a stream to it or uh, your recording. So that is a really cool feature and a lot of people really, really love that. So that is feature number two. Going to feature number three. Feature number three is that we now allow for AV1 encoding for streaming. So now next to the H.264, we also have ACVC and AV1. AV1 is a really cool protocol that allows you to have less bandwidth, but with the same or even better quality. So that's the reason why it's so, so interesting. AV1 only works on YouTube at the moment. So that's something to take into account. Feature for it means that we also now have the ability to have a better management of layers. So for example, if I would add a layer right here, uh, let's do the hummingbirds. I now have the possibility to really fine grain what I like. So I can actually uh, zoom in and zoom out just by using the, my, the mouse, or I can do it like this. I also have guide, guide rails. So this is the center and this is the center. That's a really have a happy it's a really good feature uh of course you can also crop it like so uh, by moving this round around i can also add a border if i would like turn it on put a thickness in there and maybe uh, like this a bit of a radius perfect that's the way that we like it feature number five is zoom integration yes that's right we now have the possibility to also add a zoom call in it actually more, more than one so just hit here zoom and uh, hit okay and then you'll see a separate input right here you click here to connect and this is where you can fill in your meeting id your password etc you can host a meeting or you can also join an existing meeting you can also select what output that you would like also hitting at the uh, feature with the additional external outputs and of course you can select which audio bus that you would like to uh, see that is zoom integration but that's not all there's also the possibility to add uh, in vmix social also zoom comments right there so that is zoom integration for you in v vmix 27. if you like this video then go ahead and subscribe to the channel or and hit the bell icon so that you get notified for future content see you around bye bye